Marnie, I'd like to report a defective animal. It just stands by the bus all day and doesn't actually find any truffles. Hello everyone! Today we're going to be looking at the amazing new wallet items that appeared in the new 1.3 multiplayer update. These items are really unique and have really cool effects, so you should go ahead and get these as soon as possible. The first item we're going to look at is Spring Onion Mastery, because if there's one thing you want to master, it's Spring Onions. Now unfortunately to get it, you've got to deal with some of these people. And these are the worst kind of people. The little ones. Now you need them both at 8 hearts, so obviously the easiest way to do that is to give them gifts. If you bring this to the swamp and give it to the statue on the left, you'll get a really cool prize. Then, once both idiots are all the way at 8 hearts, you'll be rewarded with a heartwarming cutscene, where they both actually admit to being the illegitimate children of Marnie and Lewis. But actually what this does is you learn how to clean spring onions which makes them more valuable, without harming any bugs. All we had to do was sacrifice two small children. Spring onions now worth five times the gold. That's right, five times. So that means with a little luck on a nice spring day, you can find a nice little cluster of them and finally manage to make a little bit of money off them, especially if your foraging skill is level 10 and they're all iridium quality. Which means for every even 10 you sell you get 800 gold plus an alien. Alien not included. But that does finally make them worthwhile to sell. By the time you're in your second year and have this kind of thing, it's not really worth it for the energy because they don't really give you enough to justify it by that point. One more good use for the spring onions is feeding Linus. He really enjoys them. Spring Onion Mastery is a worthwhile wallet item to get a hold of. It's very easy to get, and you can't lose anything by getting it. It'll just make you some easy money along the way. Next, we're going to skip right ahead to Bear Vision, but the game likes to call it Bear's Knowledge. So using all the magical, mighty powers of a bear, Salmon Berries are now worth more money. That's right, out of all the powers a bear possesses, they know how to make Salmon Berries worth more. Salmon Berries grow in abundance all over the bushes, from Spring the 15th to Spring the 18th. And the same thing applies to blackberries which grow from the 8th to the 11th of fall. Using this amazing new power, I'm going to go harvest every single salmon berry on the map and we're going to see the value of those. Despite having all the luck in the world on my side, I somehow still wasn't very lucky. I only managed to get 48 salmon berries. Again, keep in mind my forging is level 10 so I get the cool perks to go with that. Those are worth a fairly disappointing 1500 gold. Like I said, that was a pretty unlucky day. You'll usually find a lot more than that and you can do that 3 days in a row. Plus, it takes very little effort to go collect those, just every time you walk by a salmon berry bush, pick it, sell it, done. If you're wondering how to get this magical superpower, you first need to collect secret note number 23. If you can read this, come to the secret woods, please bring maple syrup. So you know what that means, collect yourself one maple syrup and bring it down to the secret woods. This triggers an amazing cutscene with a talking bear, and he'll award you with bear vision. He also informs you that it was a wizard that gave him the ability to speak, which actually explains a lot about how there's a gorilla driving a bus. Next on our list is my personal favorite and a very, very important item for accomplishing anything at all, and that is a special charm. What that does is simply increases your luck every single day. Now luck has a huge effect on everything you do, whether it's fishing, whether it's farming, whether it's looking for garbage in the trash cans, or looking for treasure in Skull Cavern, luck has an effect on all of it. So this item, in my opinion, might be the single most important item in the game. And the best part is, all you have to do is carry it around. You don't have to do anything extra, just carry it with you. Once you receive it, that's it, extra luck. And you get this item by tricking Alex into giving it to you. I'm just kidding. But what you first need to do is find secret note number 20, which looks something like this. Simply follow the pattern it gives to you, starting right here on this red dot, spoiler alert. If executed correctly, we'll leave you right here beside the Joja truck. Interact with it, you'll find a strange man in there. He says he needs a break or something, he wants a rabbit's foot. Bring him a rabbit's foot and he'll give you the special charm. By the way, if a strange man in a truck in real life offers you good luck for a rabbit's foot, don't take it. Don't talk to strange men in trucks. Again, this item is hugely important to everything you do, so you're going to want to get it as soon as possible. Now if you've never seen the secret notes before and wondering how to even get them, well, first you need this item. The magnifying glass. This simply allows you to find the secret notes, cutting down trees, breaking rocks, cutting grass, putting out Linus's fire, or from this good old-fashioned murder. Once you start to acquire these notes, simply put them in your hotbar in the bottom, scroll to that item, right-click on it. You'll read it, but don't worry, it's not gone. Once you've read it, it goes into your secret note collection, which appears at the bottom of your collections. There are 23 in total. They range from anything that tell you what people like, to hidden treasure, to uncovering an affair, to the bear. They are actually a lot of fun, just to find, collect, and try and figure out what they're trying to tell you. Now, if you're wondering about how to get the magnifying glass in the first place, well, it's very easy to get your hands on. All you gotta do is make it as far as your first winter and leave your farm for the first time. And you'll notice this little idiot wandering towards your farm, at which point he runs away. So guess what you have to do now? You gotta go find him. 
Now this clever idiot decided to leave footprints in his snow so he's not very hard to find. Also if you're wondering why he ran away, well that's probably because he's a self-admitted thief and he was on the road that only goes directly to your farm. Even the game doesn't give him any respect, it just calls him Shadow Guy. His name is Krobus. But yeah, he gives you the magnifying glass he admits to having stole it from someone else. I can't imagine what he was going to steal from my farm. Luckily we didn't get that far. But that's all it takes, make it to your first winter, go through the cutscene, go find Krobus, get the magnifying glass, and start finding the notes. From there you'll just find them easily pretty much no matter what you're doing, especially if you spend any time in the mines or skull cavern. That's it for this one, okay bye.